What's going on guys, Flying DBZ, and we're back for another Pokemon Master video, and I guess this is going to be like a, a weird video, <laughs> just because I'm doing my daily routine. I'm going to be showing you guys my daily routine, because I'm sure a lot of you guys have your own routine, so I just want to show off mine. The game is basically dead right now, like there's really nothing going on. Uh, like, I mean, we got these events here, and then we got the Morty Summons, but, like, how often are you gonna do them? Because, like, once you're done these kind of events, there's really no point in replaying them. Because the replay value on these events aren't really that great. If anything, the type training events are the best ones to replay, just because you can get level up to, uh, le level up manuals. So, <laughs> there's that. Uh, but anyways, for the most part, I play on my iPhone in the morning. Uh, while I charge up my um, my Samsung and then when I charge up my Samsung I come downstairs and I record and uh, so on So when I do log in obviously I collect my daily logins and I don't collect them on my iPhone Just because when I collect gems on my iPhone it doesn't transfer like the gems between iOS and Samsung or Android so I just since I main Pokemon Masters on my Galaxy S20 Plus I just collect everything on my phone and then on the iPhone I just use it strictly for battling and then whenever I want to collect my rewards I just go to my Samsung uh so yeah that's gonna be it uh Morty's secret ghost training event login oh yeah that's right so we get the Morty login rewards so that's pretty nice so we get 200 gems there and I'm actually farming up the Morty tickets right now just because I want to see how much I could get or how much you can keep in your inventory because I know they increase the uh, the box space or the the space inventory in your uh, in your bag. So I just want to see how much you could fit in there. Maybe it's nine ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. So I just because you're able to get a lot of those tickets per run, and in one day I was able to get like five thousand tickets. So or vouchers. So I just want to see how much I can get from that. So I'm just farming up that the uh, Morty stage. Now, for the eggs, I do this every morning, too. Like, after I collect my rewards, I come into my eggs. And then I put them in my inventory, or uh, I uh, I hatch them and then put them in my incubator. But I only have one, and I'm only going to do it when I have uh, two or more. So I'm not going to bother with the eggs right now. And then, obviously, I talk to Red or whoever has that little icon on them that they're going to give me an item. And then we get our daily tickets. Go to the training area, see what's available, uh, and then I do a couple battles here, and the level up manual course, so that's actually really nice, because I am, look at the farm that, I'm not gonna do, actually, yeah, you know what, we'll go through it in this video. Um, so, basically, I don't know, there, there's really not much going on in the game right now, uh, like, for mo like, when they do add in stuff into Pokemon Masters, it's, like, it's, like, it's good for, like, one day, and then after that, like, there's really nothing left to do, just because, like, the game doesn't really have much to offer. And I'm gonna be completely honest, like, you're not really gonna be sitting down playing Pokemon Masters for, like, hours on end, because, like, like I said, the replay value isn't really, like, all there. Like, if you were to play, for example, uh, Dokkan Battle. The replay value on that is a lot better just because, like, I don't know, there, there, there's a difference between Dokkan and uh, Pokemon Masters, but, like, if you want to do the Legendary Arena for Pokemon Masters, you could definitely do that because at least that adds more to Pokemon, uh, or Masters, whatever. Uh, but with, uh, like, if once that event is gone, like, what's there really to do? The Battle Villa, uh, and you only do that, and it, and it takes, like, what, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, depending on how far you are in the Villa. So, it's like, well, okay. Uh, and then you got the Super Courses, yeah, you can do those. Um, but, like, in, like, those kind of things that bring you back to Pokemon Masters, there's really not, it, like, it's not that long to do during the day. Like... I just wanted to try that out as an experiment to see how long it would take me just to do the daily stuff. That's it. And in total, it only took me like like for the whole day. It took me about 30 to 40 minutes and then that's it. Not long at all. So like it, it, it's not much of, of, of a grind anymore. Like once you completed everything, like once you evolved all your Pokemon, once you... 
leveled up all your Pokemon to the max, and it, there's really not much left to do in the game, other than uh, stock up on your inventory. That's that's literally all I'm doing right now. Otherwise, I'd probably only just do the daily stuff that comes in every day or every time uh, the super course is refreshed. So, the, like, I don't know. Doing the super courses, that's my main thing, collecting the co-op orbs, because that's going to be very nice to have. Could I, up, I have about 30,000 co-op sync orbs now. Uh, I'm just waiting to see who I want to use it on. Uh, I'm not in a rush to use them on every single sync pair, because I think right now that would be pretty stupid, just because the co-op sync orbs are very limited now. So it's not like you could use your sync pairs and then uh, target who, exactly who you want to use your co-op or your sync orbs on. So now it's strictly just co-op orbs and you, and you can't even get them in co-op anymore either. So it's like, what the hell? <laughs> They're called co-op sync orbs, but you can't even use them in, or get them in co-op. Uh, so I think that needs a change in wording too. Uh, but yeah, the super courses aren't really hard either. Uh, like I said, it's just a quick grind. To get through one, it takes about 10, 10 minutes at the most. Depending on your team, but yeah, see that's done. And then what what's left to do? <laughs> and then like I still have this poison type training event to do. Like I still got that. For the most part, every day I just use whatever Pokemon I feel like using because like the game is super easy. So like you can literally rock in with whatever sync pair and then go in and beat it. So it's not difficult. So I like what keeps me coming back to is the. The Pokemon. I love using the Pokemon like my favorite ones and just having fun destroying each event with Charizard or Garchomp, uh, Pidgeot, Blue. Like, they're, like I like using these Pokemon because they're so much fun to use. So that's another thing that's keeping me back. Don't get me wrong, I love the game. The game is fun, but when it comes to replay factor, it's not the best. So there's that. <laughs> And then we got this, this only took like what, a minute, maybe less than a minute, and then we're done that. Now we're at how many tickets? We have 75, so we got two more days to go. <laughs> but yeah, really not much to do. Uh, we're at the Legendary Arena, nothing to do, I already beat it. Uh, like I could just go through it, farm some of the items, but there's no point because there's better stages to farm up the, the rewards that it gives you, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, like if I want to have fun and use my sync pairs that I want to mega evolve and stuff like that Then yeah, I'll go in but at the time at the moment not really <laughs> And then for the battle villa, I still need to go through the battle villa I'll probably make a video right after this actually going through um, Just because the only way that I'm really gonna be doing the battle villa is if I record it So if I can if I do it off camera, I'm not really gonna do it. So <laughs> if I could record Every day playing the Battle Villa, then at least that will help with uh, getting me where I need to be. Uh, but yeah, and then after we're done the Super Courses and all those uh, daily stuff, we come over here, get our daily vouchers, 30 gems, and so on. I still need to I still need to complete four more missions for the uh, Morty Secret Ghost Training. Uh, most of them are on uh, co-op. Use 50 super effective attacks. Well, shit. Okay, <laughs> I did not see that one. Okay, so it's mostly super effective, yeah. The rest are super effective. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So I could just go in with Chandelier, and then just get wrecked while using super effective attacks, so that's not bad. That'll be cool, alright. Oh wait, do I need to use them in full force battle? I hope not, I really hope not. Uh, to complete the, okay. I don't need to be in co-op for that. I mean, uh, for force battle, so that's cool. All right, so <laughs> that's that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, I just thought I wanted to show off my daily routine. Uh, I'm pretty sure all you guys have the same routine, considering it's the same stuff everybody does. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, eggs, collect my eggs, put them in the incubator, collect my daily login rewards, uh, come into the events, do my training area, super course events daily, uh, the events like the the, point, the type training events and uh, whatever else is available in the events category and I collect my daily vouchers and that's it. <laughs> oh that's right, this is another thing I need to start doing actually, the daily 
summons, I need to do that. <laughs> so. Oh, I hate sitting through all this. Oh my god. Okay. But yeah, nothing good there this time. Besides the level of manual and the nugget or the pearls, so that's cool. But that's it for the video. That's my daily routine. I do this literally every single morning. The game is dead, so I just wanted to, I guess, get this out there in case any of you guys are curious on my daily routine. Uh, even though we all probably do the same thing. So, <laughs> But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. I thought it was just something wacky, whatever. Uh, we can make fun, whatever. Uh, <laughs> so that's it for the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.